Wait, how's this look? That's looking freaking good. But look at this, ready? Ready for this guy? Cranes were just actually underneath that. They're doing great too. Don't don't really look at them too much. You're getting massive. But look at this. What is up, everybody? It's another day here at the ranch, and we're still quarantining at the ranch because, yeah, we have to stay at home. But it's okay because we just get more things done at the ranch that we always do every single day, anyways. If you guys are haven't subscribed yet to the channel, subscribe to the channel so that we get to a million subscribers someday in the future. But we're gonna head over there to the back of the building. In the back of the building, we are setting up the area that got burnt down a way, way long time ago. If you guys haven't seen the videos, Dylan, maybe we should show them what it used to look like way back then. If you have those videos. Uh, you have those videos? I can try to get it, but <laughs> I'm so far back, dog. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna throw you guys back to what it used to look like, and this is gonna be the part two on steroids. Learned so much throughout the last two years of everything happening, and we're putting it all together right now. So let's do it, and you guys can see the whole process of some amazing things that are gonna put here in the future. Chill out, bud. So this is where the door is going to be right here where you walk into the tortoise enclosure that we closed in and here is the whole frame that we're going to have individual different setups of different types of tortoises that are going to grow out here. So all the tortoises that you guys know that are in the patio are going to come here and they're going to have big old enclosures. They're about four foot by 10 foot long, four foot by nine foot long. Each one planted is going to, going to be planting here all different kinds of things as well. But uh, now it's going to be time to start putting the individual barriers for each one. So my buddy had it to go, so we stopped with doing things right now. But look at this, we have 
plenty of different dividers. Right now, there's four dividers, but we're probably gonna divide them one more because they're four feet wide. To put two feet on each side so that there'll be more runs for different species of tortoises and turtles. But it's coming together little by little. We're taking our time, making sure everything gets put the right way. We have the three doors here. We have to weld a little bit more things there. We got the welding machine. We got racks coming up. We have water systems. We have electricity. This is gonna be the real freaking deal. It's amazing. It's finally coming back together. Some awesome freaking stuff. It's been an amazing day here at the ranch. We're doing a lot of stuff. Make sure you guys like this video. Got some pellet. We're gonna go feed this arapaima. I haven't showed you guys for a while how big this arapaima has got. We got a whole sink set up here. It's not put together yet, but it's about to get put together. It's gonna be the spot to clean the fish, do fish food, do lettuce, all different types of stuff for in the back area like you guys saw yesterday. Bunch of stuff going on. We're pretty freaking tired from what was going on there, but let's walk over here. Okay, let me show you how big this hey, arapaima. Hey, look. That's looking freaking good. Look at that. Guys. Got that. Damn. Damn. Wow. Oh my God. The pictures look great. Those are from Instagram. We what made them. That? That's California that and that's, California. Uh, that's from DWF. Oh wow. Freaking Lombani and the giant saddleback tortoise. Actually posted that today on my Instagram if you guys didn't check that out. Big guy, just like that. That was actually last year. Not this year. That was last year. That, that's pretty freaking dope. Let's get back to this Arapaima right here. And massive. We got to do a full video on how big and how everybody is doing with feeding and everything. But look at this. Ready? Ready for this guy? This complete monster of an arapaima. He is doing absolutely great. Look at that. He freaking jumped before that, but everyone is doing great out here. And I mean, just stay tuned for post notifications and stuff because we're gonna be doing fish feeding videos in here very, very soon. Before we go outside and show you what we got going on over there, I forgot to show you. We've been cleaning up the yard a lot. We got rid of the trampoline and because that's where the cranes and Willie used to hide underneath there for the shade, we added something else. So let me go show you real quick before we head back over there. So it's been less than 24 hours and we added these big shade cloths. These are made for like going for pools and things of that sort. We actually have one over there too, if you see the sulcata over there underneath the shade. It's just little spots for them to have shade and hang out. The trampoline here, trampoline was here before, but I added that. The cranes were just actually underneath that. They're doing great too. Don't, don't really look at them too much. They're getting massive. We gotta show you another video on that very, very soon. But we got the shade cloths there. It actually goes into three different enclosures. Actually, two enclosures. So the big sulcata over there. Shade over here for Willie if he wants it. it. Just helps out just so animals have a little more shade because it is freaking super hot. Look up. You guys see a cloud? Not one cloud out here in South Florida. Beautiful day out here. Amazing day out here. And not even cloud. We're just out here quarantining and living our best life on the ranch. But uh, let's head inside this over here and let me show you what we got going on. So it's day three, you guys, on getting everything done in the back of the building. Everything is just about completely meshed and it's 99% done. Everything's meshed in except one spot there and the door has to get put right there. It is just about time to put the tortoises inside of the brand new area. So make sure you put those post notifications on to see the upcoming videos behind here because we have plenty of different designs for different types of species of tortoises that you might keep, that you might wanna learn about that we have to set up here. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out, everybody.